Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are here to discuss the conjunction of Sun and Saturn which is happening for two months literally. For 25 days it had been conjunct both of them and now again because Saturn is changing sign to Capricorn from 24th till February 15th Sun and Saturn are going to be conjunct again. And the peak of this conjunction is on 13th January, Monday, Monday. So Monday could be an intense day. <laughs> All right, so let us discuss this conjunction in brief. And we will also discuss what will happen when they are conjunct in Sagittarius and Capricorn. All right, and as usual, what I am seeing here may not apply exactly to your chart because many people mail me after the transit videos they say oh sir what you said it is working for me but for that planet is not working so even it is even if it is working it is 50 percent coincidence and even if it is not working it is still working 50 percent or 20 or 30 or 100 even or zero even because <clears throat> ultimately what dashas you are running they decide okay so once you know the dashas then we use transits and we also use ashtak varga so judging the horoscope without dashas only on the basis of transits is like committing suicide <laughs> it doesn't do any good all right so please check your dashas first and your horoscope and then only analyze transits although it feels very good to analyze yes but it's of no good use it creates more harm it creates fear unnecessarily okay so as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit then you can go to the description section of my videos below for my website and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him hopefully during this transit also okay so what is sun and what is saturn one is light another one is darkness but what, what is this you know everybody says you know that saturn is the farthest planet in the solar system according to vedic astrology i mean at least Till Saturn we consider and Sun is all the source of light Sun is the sustainer is the king of the planets so what happens when Sun and Saturn come together Sun basically is the desire to live in this world the desire to live in abundance without any restrictions the desire to do what you want the desire to be who you are the desire to express yourself creatively. That is why it rules the fifth house. Fifth house has to do with the Atma. So therefore, wherever sun is sitting in your chart, you could get these feelings. That you need to express yourself there. You need to be that. And you need to sustain yourself in this material world. And what is Saturn? Shani Maharaj, what is Saturn? Saturn represents... The end of it is Kal ultimately. His death, his death personified. That is why he is the significator of the sixth, eighth, and the twelfth houses. All the Dusthana houses. Saturn is the significator. But what does it mean? You know that one is light and the other is death. Saturn shows where the journey of the soul ends through this body. The soul's journey never ends, but in in trying to be like the sun everybody in, in this world is trying to be like the sun they are trying to be uh, like the sun is very bright it's always on time you know when the sun shines everybody just everything just becomes illuminated so everybody in this world wants to be like the sun they want to be valued they want to have power control authority post position and then saturn represents the end so it's like saying that is why Saturn gets exalted in Libra because Libra is where the sun is setting. Yes, the seventh house, it's the seventh sign. And that is where Saturn gets exalted because when the sun sets, it's all dark. And then 
we also in the evening as the night comes we lose our determination we lose our desire to just do anything we just want to relax okay. so now what happens when these two come together light and darkness they say you know light and darkness cannot coexist so how in the universe are these two planets coming together well yes they, they cannot coexist, but there can be a maya, there can be a feeling, there could be an illusion that yes, they are together, they are always together. So when these two planets come together, what we feel internally and could be externally also, depending on your horoscope, it, it means that we get a feeling that although we are living in this world, we are not dead, we are alive, but still we feel as if our existence our dominance our power our authority which is the sun is coming to an end during those days we get a feeling like this and now whoever is stronger will decide what happens so for example till 15 january sun saturn will be together in sagittarius so now uh, Jupiter is the lord of the sign Sagittarius and Jupiter is neutral to Saturn and he is a great 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 friend of the sun and therefore till 15th you will see that the power of the sun is more which means you feel as if your existence is more under your control you will feel like the sun but from 15th to 25th this conjunction will not hold true because Saturn will be in Sagittarius and Sun would have moved to Capricorn. But from uh, 25th January to 15th February, you will see that Sun and Saturn are now in Capricorn. And what is Capricorn? Capricorn is a sign ruled by Saturn himself. So there you could feel during those three weeks that your existence is there which means the sun is there but it is taking you more and more and more efforts to get through to get to where you want to get all right so this conjunction is generally in the classics not a very good conjunction for materialistic purposes but for spiritual purposes this conjunction is a very good conjunction so instead of dreading this conjunction and oh this is a terrible conjunction this is a bad conjunction this will create havoc no nothing like that the conjunction is good or bad depends on who you are should i repeat the conjunction's effects will depend on the individual so no conjunction is bad in this world no conjunction is good in this world so let's take the example of uh, moon and saturn together which is uh, technically typically known as wish yoga in astrology so now many times i see people are uh, fearing you know oh my god i have this wish you what will happen well wish you can be terrible horrible really bad for certain things and it could be wonderful or in fact the best thing for certain areas of your life it could even be more powerful than raj yogas and mahapurush yogas it could be very powerful now therefore it depends on who you are and what your goals are and what your inherent disposition is if you are aware of the truths of the scriptures like bhagavad gita and the Srimad bhagavatam then this sun saturn conjunction is very good for you because ultimately you will realize that one day my existence is anyways going to come to an end so you will not dread this conjunction you will not curse this conjunction in fact this is the best thing that you can realize but if you if you are uh, if your goal is only to obtain materialistic pleasure i'm saying i'm not saying if your goal is to obtain materialistic pleasure i'm saying if your goal is to only attain materialistic pleasure then then you will suffer with this conjunction why because materialistic pleasure is primarily governed by mercury and venus so they give a feeling that nothing will end you know have you have you seen people uh, like venus especially you know couples you know enjoying you know physical enjoyment 
you go and tell them you know they are hugging and kissing and you know doing all sorts of stuff you go and say hey uh, mr so and so my, my dear madam so and so uh, you are you are enjoying you are having a great time apparently um, but do you know one day this existence that you think that you control is going to end one day so what will you do that day and then this two these two will say ah get lost you bloody philosopher how dare you ruin our happiness nothing is going to end i will always live and she will always live yes we will always live together we, our love is you know eternal our love is our love will never die that is what they will say most of them yes so for those who are obsessed with mercury and venus and then of course rahu comes over it <laughs> for them the idea that this this existence that i have will come to an end one day is terrible but those who are on the side of jupiter and on the side of moon and on the side of ketu for them this conjunction is very good actually so therefore you could take a sutra if your jupiter ketu and moon these three are well placed and you have the conjunction of sun and saturn it is the greatest blessing that you can get yes <laughs> because then you are already aware of the truths of the scriptures and ascendant lord also and yes sun also how can i forget the sun so then you are aware of the scripture it was then you are aware at a soul level and then this this thing which comes to an end doesn't matter for you because krishna says in the gita na nayanam chindanti shastrani nayanam dahati pavakaha very beautiful shloka so this means you know you cannot you can read the purport and the translation but this this shloka literally means you cannot physically touch or you know affect the soul it's not possible so if you are aware at a soul level then this is the best conjunction to have because then you know that nothing is actually mine because krishna says in the gita na bhuktaram yagya tapasam sarva lokamaheshwaram suridam sarva bhutanam gyatva mam shantim ruchati <laughs> krishna says bhuktaram yagya tapasyam i am the bhukta yagya tapasam i am the enjoyer controller and proprietor of all the sacrifices of everything suhridam sarva bhutanam and and i am the suhrid suhrid means the most well wishing friend sarva bhutana all living entities all living beings not not only human beings all humans dogs cats buffaloes ants everybody gyatva mam shantim ruchati suridam sarva bhutana the one who knows this and and yes the second line was sarva loka maheshwaram that i am the lord of all maheshwaram sarva loka all the lokas maheshwaram i am the undisputed lord uh, and the emperor of everything that exists one who knows this gyatva mam shantim ruchati gyatva means one who knows this shanti means peace and then krishna again says you know, brahma bhuta prasanna atma na so chati na kaankshati sama sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhaktim lavate param that brahma bhuta prasanna atma one who is situated at the spiritual transcendence na so chati na kaankshati does not hanker or lament hankering means oh i want this i want that i want him i want her i want this job i want that uh, business i want this partnership lamentation oh my god i lost him i lost her i lost my job i lost this i lost that that's lamentation crying for the things which you cannot change na sochati na kaankshati sama sarveshu bhuteshu sees everybody equally sama sarva eshu bhuteshu mad bhaktim lavate param that is the state when spiritual life begins not ends krishna says that's the time when spiritual life begins so many times in the classics we will see that this conjunction is dreaded but there are also many classics which say this this is a very good conjunction okay so therefore 
it is up to you if your jupiter sun and ketu and moon these four are well placed in the chart and your dasha is indicating fifth house ninth house then this transit will be very good for you spiritually and if they are spoiled in your chart then maybe you will get this conjunction all right so this is not a bad conjunction this will not give you financial loss unless your dasha indicates that okay so the crux of this video is when this conjunction is there you not know, till sagittarius and then forward in capricorn it's a very good time for us to realize that we are not the controllers i mean ju just think uh, we we think that we are the controllers but we are actually not nothing is in our control can you control what will happen in, in uh, what weather will you have tomorrow no you cannot i cannot tomorrow it could be sunny you know it it could be like i'm i'm in germany now there could be heavy snowfall tomorrow today morning there was bright sunshine i was expecting snow today but there was no snow today it was bright sunshine you know, bright the sun was shining like anything you know? and tomorrow maybe there's anything could happen wind could be there of course somebody may say oh google maps will, uh, google will tell us what will happen tomorrow no but google is actually just indicating what it knows google is not creating google is not creating the weather it's just telling you which you, you would have anyways come to know so google uh, is not the creator of the weather he's just a uh, indicator okay but who decides when you will get what weather we don't know of course the scriptures say you know that uh, that the demigods they arrange this as per our karma but we, we can't control the weather you know arjuna says you know, in that shloka that i can control the winds but i cannot control the mind that so you see arjuna can do that but we can't <laughs> of course because arjuna says that the mind is more difficult to control than the winds but today people even cannot control the wind can you control uh, those people who are married can you control your wife or your husband or maybe they end up controlling you <laughs> yes can you control your children have you tried no yes yes no <laughs> have you tried to control your friends you know just try you will be the most frustrated the most miserable person so this conjunction is the best time for us to realize that we are not the controllers because sun and saturn both deal with authority and control okay so the more you will try to control situations the more they will hit you back and the more you learn to let go and let things be the way they are the more they will bless you the more you will become happy at inside all right so let us not dread this conjunction and think that life is going to end right so whatever we have in our life let us continue doing that and do things that we love and then this transit will help us to obtain higher wisdom after this transit gets over in 15 february all right thank you very much for your patience and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me you could go to the description section below to my website and god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him